The Portland Regional Championships are just around the corner, so in today's video, we're going to talk about my best picks for Portland Regional Championships and a couple bold predictions of what I think is going to go down in Portland. This current meta, I only can really describe with the word peculiar. Usually, we have one of like a super dominant best deck and format type deck where you pretty much have to play it or be or play a deck that specifically hard counters it. This meta is very different, where I would have to say. I number one recommend that you play something that you're co comfortable with. That these five decks here on screen, Lugia, Gardevoir, Lost in Box, Gudra, and Mew, are all solid picks with merit, where it's very hard to distinguish like deck number one from deck number five, while some of them do have better matchups than others, especially to each other. They're all very solid picks, and I would just play whichever one you feel confident in. And if none of these decks are ones you're particularly excited about, and you are like a Maridon, Lost in Giratina, or a Urshifu player, those are not bad picks either. I would just say they may not have as, a, as much upside as these five decks, but they're still very solid picks that could take down an event. So I think most importantly for Portland Regional Championships, you must play something that you are comfortable with. I usually show off my deck list for each of the decks that I re recommend, but I, I just made a video about all these decks yesterday. I'll pop it in the little eye in the top right corner, but I do have a deck that I've been working on. It's like sort of this anti-meta Empoleon deck. Here's a list up here. We try to use Box of Disaster and like the scroll of water to like really go crazy in that in that guard war matchup. Like we, we, we can shut off the, the mana few with Emperor's Eyes and still spread everywhere with the scroll of swirls. And we also have the Radiant Alkazam and the Meta Champ to potentially Yoga Loop and take some extra turns. And I want to be a Melanie deck and I want to play Radiant Greninja, but we can't play two Radiant. So I'm having to settle with the Glaring Articuno as like sort of my discard uh, energy way. Um, it's still not, it's still a little rough around the edges, not completely refined. I just thought I would share with uh, one of my current favorite anti meta picks in the format right now. Now, everyone's favorite part bold predictions. Yay! My first bold prediction will be top eight will have at least five different archetypes. And this is basically coming from the last like frame where I talk about all those different decks that I think are good right now. And I think that uh, t just as I can, this format in general is very balanced. So um, top eight will be just uh, have several different archetypes accounted for. My next one will, will be uh, Turbo Lost Zone Box, will, will be the best performing Lost Zone Box build. I just think uh, it's just, just really fast and really oppressive right now, being able to swing a Dragon at 250 going second, Radiant Greninja to, to pressure, evolving basics, while still a Cramorant and Save a lot to fall back on. It's just super appealing right, right now. I'll say one control makes top 32. I'm just an avid control player and enjoy the deck, so this is kind of just like hoping that someone does it because I really love enjoying and playing the, the deck. I don't necessarily have a whole lot of time anymore to make my own control decks. Um, my fourth bold prediction will be uh, two, at least two uh, non-American players will make top eight. I know a few European players are attending the event. Of course, there'll be uh, Canadians, so I expect uh, I expect you, you non-American players to show up, so don't let me down. And then uh, finally, I'm saying no RC stacks in top 16. Uh, I, I'm not going to say that RC's performance at, at UIC was a, a fluke, it was the perfect pick. Um, at the time, I would just say the meta shifted away, and now that the deck is a known quantity and people know how to play against it, um, it's not quite as effective. Of course, RCS is always adapting, kind of like Zorwark was back in the day, so um, someone might come up with a, another broken RCS deck. You never really know. I don't see it, but that doesn't mean that uh, no one else will. But do you guys ha have any bold predictions? Do you think my bold predictions are just complete cringe or um, they're stupid? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're attending Portland Regional Championships, uh, let me know. I'd really like to know how many of my viewers are attending the event and uh, b best of luck. And um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, please uh, like and subscribe. We're doing big things on the channel and I hope you have a great day. This has been all Blitzel and I'll catch you in the next one.